Hello and welcome to another great deck tech here at Chuck Wagon MTG. I'm an MTG strategist. Today we have a very special deck. Uh, this is the deck that I will be taking to the Mythic Qualifier in June, a uh, local game store out here in San Diego. Um, so the name of the deck, Teferi's Finale, of course. The center of the deck is Teferi Time Raveler. Um, once this is out, uh, each opponent can cast spells only only any time they can cast sorcery. So this cuts off every instant speed spell outside of your opponent's main phase. Um, it the reason I, I really like to fairy and standard is that it's kind of sneaky. Um, it people don't understand its effect until they play against it and they realize, oh man, I can't do those end of turn card draws. I can't flash out any creatures that have flash. And if they have um, a an enabler of flash, like Raf Capuchin, uh, according to the rules, all the cants uh, supersede the cans. So this will prevent uh, anything with flash and anything that enables flash. Even uh, that one land that enables flash, I forget what it's called, but this will shut that off. So flash is over for them. It, another effect that it has that it also shuts off uh, counter spells. So people can't counter spell you. With anything on the stack, they cannot cast anything. Uh, so I'm taking advantage of that, and I will be casting um, uh, several uh, spells that they cannot cast uh, with the plus one. So the plus one is until your next turn you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. So we're chock full of mean sorcery spells starting we'll start with duress. Now that is early both early game and what's great about it is you can stop after your opponent's draw step and duress them in the late game and have them discard any kind of threat to the board. Uh, you know, besides a creature. Or you can just see what they're going to cast. And uh, so that's our lowest. We also have Charter Course, which we can now cast at instant speed. Uh, we have the Elder Spell, so you're probably going to see a lot of Planeswalker-based decks in Standard for the upcoming Qualifier. There, there's a ton of them. This will wipe every single one of them off the board. Uh, we have Kaya's Wrath. Uh, so an instant speed Kaya's Wrath I have found is one of the most effective things. So there are instant speed spells that give creatures indestructible, but uh, you can do two things. You can, um, well, first of all, you can just destroy their creatures, and once this is on the stack with Teferi out, they're unable to cast any instant speed spells. So if they attack in, they try to respond to Kai's Wrath, they won't be able to. And we also have our finales, the namesake of the deck. Finale of Glory, which is our primary win condition, probably our only win condition. Um, so Finale of Glory, create two, create X, two, two white soldier creature tokens with vigilance. If X is 10 or more, also create X, four, four white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance. So if you can get this to go off at for 10 for X, which means you need 12 lands out, um, you can do it at instant speed with uh, Teferi, and it can't be countered. And then when you swing in, they're unable to respond with Settle the Wreckage because they're unable to cast instants. So even in the early game, you get this out in the early game, get a few 2-2s two out there to chump block or to, to attack in, um, it, it can do some amazing things. I, I love this card, and I think um, with paired with Teferi, it is a formidable foe. Uh, we also have Finale of Revelation. Now, uh, Finale of Revelation is the same, you know, the same as the other Finale. Two blue and X. You draw X cards. If X is more than ten, you shuffle your graveyard into your library. You draw X cards and untap up to five lands, and you have no maximum hand size. So, even in the late game, uh, you get in the late game and you're and you top deck a Finale of Revelation. You can draw ten cards and still probably draw into your Kaya's Wrath or one of your other um, other, one of your other spells. It untaps lands for you and you can just have a huge hand after this. Uh, so a great pairing of finales right there. Also to protect Teferi, 
we have Teferi's Time Twist. I've had great success with this. Uh, all it is is an instant when they uh, try to swing in and hit Teferi. Or if they try to you know burn Teferi out, you can uh, fire this off. And what's great, what's great about it is you, you exile a permanent you control and then return to the battlefield under your control at the next end step. With Teferi, um, you, well, with Teferi out and this on the stack, they're unable to respond, so they still can't counter it. So great protection for Teferi. And then, you know, Teferi will bounce back in and uh, renew its um, loyalty counters. Uh, so additional protection, uh, Dovin's Veto, say Teferi's not out yet, you have a couple of... Uh, you know, two two soldiers out, and you want to you want to protect them. Um, Dovin's veto is another uncounterable um, non-creature spell, you, or you can counter target non-creature spell, and in this spell can't be countered. So it's just additional protection for you. Uh, we also have mortify. So um, one of the dangers uh, that you can identify is um, um, Ixalan's binding. So with this, with Ixalan's Binding, it could shut off your deck, but Mortify uh, gives you both creature enchantment removal. You can get that Teferi back and continue on with your strategy. Uh, we also have Essence Scatter, uh, three of those, because you want to, uh, you know, fight the early game as much as possible. Like I said, it's a, it's a hard control deck. And like I said, Elder Spell. Uh, let's go through the mana base. So five planes, four islands, two Godless Shrine. Four Isolated Chapel, four Drowned Catacomb, and four Watery Grave. In the sideboard, uh, we have additional duress. Now, if you're up against Burn, uh, you know, Burn is one of those ones that can just run over you, uh, you and you have no response to it. They just So a little life gain, trade out, trade out those um, Charter Course with Revitalize. Uh, additional Elder Spells, if you're, like I said, if you're coming up against a a um, planeswalker heavy deck uh, elder spell will save you uh, <laughs> ritual of soot for um, removing those uh, say you're, you're up against something you know merfolk is still a thing um, you know, you're going up against a lot of small creatures uh, you can wipe the board cleansing nova same if you're on the off chance there's an artifact strategy but really this is for enchantments or creatures Urza's Ruinous Blast. Now, Urza's Ruinous Blast, I have a couple in here, uh, because it, it, I almost main board them, but there's, I've been hitting so many Planeswalker decks that this does nothing, it just sits in your deck. Uh, but if you run, it, on the off chance you run into something and you want to do get additional board wipes out there, uh, and you say it is like Merfolk, and Merfolk can take over the board fairly quickly, uh, Urza's Ruinous Blast can get, you know, just exile the entire board. Uh, Entrancing Melody. So I'm debating whether or not to put this in the main board, but uh, I just once, uh, well, primarily this is for indestructible creatures. Say you run into something that you can't, can't destroy um, and uh, you're having some trouble with it. Well, you sideboard these in, and you can take control of it. Now it's your, now it's their problem. <laughs> but Entrancing Melody, um, you know, you, you, for Hydroid Crassus, for uh, really anything that you want to use to destroy your opponent. Uh, but I would say this is a more entertaining card to have in the sideboard. You realize you can have some fun with it. Uh, put it in there, and at instant speed, they attack in. Um, pump their creature or whatever, waste a bunch of spells, and then you steal their biggest creature and block one of their others and kill it. So, um, uh, yeah, I really want to do that ju just for the laughs. But that's the deck. Uh, let's jump into some gameplay and uh, see if we can get to Fairy's Finale to reach a finale.
All right, jumping into a ranked match with Teferi's finale. The f boss. <laughs> okay, good luck, boss. Um, I think this is okay. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. And we're up against Burn. Let's go Godless Shrine now. Oh, maybe not burn. Maybe something cool. The dragons? Are we playing dragon? If we're playing dragons, that's going to be awesome. Um, so I think think we just play and pass. Uh, we have, you know, we need a strategy to protect our Teferi. Okay. Um, I might mortify that um hmm. let's put a couple bodies out there just to give them something to shoot at And if one survives, maybe we can use it to protect a fairy. You're gonna shock us or thinking hard. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and attack in. See if they'll they'll chump block one. And then we can draw into some more cards. You know, you got to with I'm not drawing any control cards just yet, so I really want to uh, draw a uh, Teferi's time twist before I put Teferi out there. I want to be able to protect it. Okay. All right, so let's draw. All right, so that's that's good. At least we can, you know. There we go. So we can Kaya's Wrath. I'm really glad we didn't get our Teferi out there. So we can Kaya's Wrath, uh, clear the board. So let's... So let's get to ferry out. Let's slow this down. I've got it. 
So usually they burn to fairy and then try to swing in on it. Um, I think I'm going to just kill that. I don't want to give them a po get them in a position where they can uh, do any damage to my Teferi. So we're getting close. We have four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's that might be enough to just kill them outright. It, Okay. I think I'll go ahead and mortify that as well. I think they're they're see so yeah, that's I'm fine with drawing lands now. Okay, so what are we up to? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So really we need three more lands. Okay. Might be getting a little greedy, but I'm okay with that. Uh, so let's see, we, might, we can minus three and return that back to their hand. So I think we, we're going to be just fine. We have all of, all of all the lands we need. Um, so it looks like you guys might actually see this thing go off in the first game. But either way, we can main phase a Finale of Glory after this. It's not a... We're, we're pretty, pretty far ahead. So what are we up to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, we're one off. Hmm. So I think, I think um, the next move, and we'll see if they try to kill Teferi, because we could main phase. Okay. On the next turn, we can main phase this anyway. I don't think they'll have any response to it. Oh, <laughs> is that nine? Uh, let's see, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we can do nine. Still with a formidable board state. Here we go. And we have our Dovin's Veto just on the off chance they try to main phase, cast something on us. <laughs> All right, so that's that's how it goes. So that deck, the deck we played against wasn't uh, 
especially I'm going to say it's it, it wasn't like a, a tier one deck it was an interesting deck but let's jump back in and keep playing ranked yeah we didn't really have to do a lot of uh, a lot of stuff in that so I'm going to see if we can I think this is okay to keep Now I'm going to keep Essence Scatter up. Wish I had a Dovin's Veto or... In case they get a, a Steam Kin out there or something. Okay, just to the face. Just drawn like a boss. So we're gonna take like five, six damage this turn. That's how it goes with burn, though, you know. Yeah. Slowed them down just a little bit. You know, we may or may not win this. What they draw into? Uh, yep. I really would like some. There we go. And I think I can ditch a. Drown Catacomb. One more white land would be great. <laughs> We're going to take quite a bit of damage here. Yep. So... I think this is really all we can do. I mean, really, we're like one burn spell away from dying, so I don't expect them to fall for it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Not really much we can do here. But it's one of those situations you'd sideboard in your, your life gain. Yeah. Didn't really have much going on. All right, let's jump into a ranked match with Teferi's Finale. This is not great, but not awful. The opponent does go first, so maybe we'll draw into our blue mana. Now, if we're going up against a control deck, it is imperative that you hold off on Teferi until uh, until you can cast it. Uh, okay. 
I don't think this is a control deck. Is this cats? Some sort of cats? Kitty cat deck? And of course, if you just don't draw mana, you're just not going to do anything. At least we get a little two for one here. Probably should have main main boarded that because they probably have a negate, or they don't. Oh, there's our blue mana. Um, all right, so I guess we just wait. Guess they're getting mana screwed. Which let's see what they got. Um, yeah, I think we, we have lots of enchantment removal, but that's probably the most. Probably the most dangerous. We'll keep our Dovin's Veto up. <laughs> wow. They are getting mana screwed. So at least we have some Teferi's Time Twist to protect ourselves. Yeah, they're just getting mana screwed. I don't kind of feel for them. It's Arena. When Arena decides that you're going to have a bad game, you just, you just have a bad game. And I think, let's get rid of this. I'm okay with that. It looks like they have a lot of, uh, looks like they have a lot of uh, creature spells, not a lot of non-creature spells, so Dovin's Veto. But I think what I'll do is, Okay. So I'm going to plus up. And remember, they have a Hieromancer's Cage. I'm going to keep. Keep my uh, Dovin's Veto up. But also keep um, Teferi's Time Twist. And it's okay to let them punch on Teferi for a little bit. You know, like, you know, distract them from attacking you. And the, the thing I really like about this, this deck is that... Um, Um, all the stuff that they're expecting from your deck, they're not gonna, they're not gonna see it. You know, they have all the, probably a bunch of creature removal, you know, stuff like that, but they're not, they're not gonna be able to do anything. I think our higher Mancer's Cage is coming out.
But, the, you know, the other player usually becomes obsessed with trying to kill this Teferi that it, you just keep bouncing. There's another one. We kind of need that, so. Don't worry, I got this. Don't know why they didn't swing in at me. Oh, they think I have settled the wreckage. I I don't have settled the wreckage. <laughs> it does me no good to ramp my opponent in this deck. Archway Angel, that's cool. How many arch? Do they have any? Five. Right. So I'm going to Teferi's Time Twist on this. You know, I could finale out one, two, three, four, five. I could do that. And then just clear, clear the board. Since we haven't got a board wipe yet. Um, so let's Mortify. Now, I only have one blue man up, so I'm going to hold off on and keep my Dovin's Veto up just in case they try to Hieromancer's Cage on my Teferi. Yeah. I mean, I could just time twist it out. But I like keeping time twist. Just uh, it's such a great um, response to creatures attacking. Okay. Let's, you know what's cool is we don't have to chart a course on our in our during our turn. We can chart a course whenever. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Are they targeting that? Um, so
let's we'll finale of if they don't play anything we'll finale of glory at the end of our turn Neza Hall okay So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Lots of protection. Um, let's see, we, I think we duress one to see what they got. Uh, inspiring commander. Okay. And then we can, hmm, I think we just end the turn. Because whatever they cast, we can have them recast it again if we need to. And they want to target Teferi, we can time twist them out of there. Because I don't think they can get enough creatures on the battlefield to defend against six soldiers. Okay. Everything I have has vigilance. I think that might have been a an oopsie. Here we go. I think that's game. All right, good game. As we ascend, <laughs> bronze tier one. So that <laughs> so that is Teferi's finale. If you like what you saw. I would implore you to hit subscribe and the bell notification. Uh, look for Chuck Wagon MTG on Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, um, and share this with your friends, your family, your pets, because everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Uh, thanks for joining us. I'm MTG Strategist for Chuck Wagon MTG.